Hello there, I'm Boo, or Jamie, and I like drawing, maximizing my hours in all the Pokemon games to find shinies, and I like to complain about lore in World of Warcraft. Hello, 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 and welcome back to a new episode of Sneaking Around Azeroth and Beyond. And today, we're gonna start this episode by me coming clean about the fact that I may have caved in and learned engineering and mining instead of leatherworking and skinning, which would have been a new profession. But I think if my complaining during the last two videos was enough to go by, you know that I would simply not do it. Why would any Anyone not want to be an engineer? I ask you this. And to celebrate this newly acquired profession that has never been seen on my channel, I will send myself all the old materials that I have still on Melrick from our countless hours spent <laughs> mining all the nodes of Azeroth. So I will do a little skilling session for engineering so I can do the quest on the Darkmoon Fair without feeling too bad about wasted skill points. Alrighty, I have a fresh cup of coffee and I have a lot of mail. <laughs> Turns out a lot of my characters still had a lot of ore and bars just lying around. And since I feel like this has become our new mothership now, I just thought, whatever. You know, it's always good if my bank characters have a little bit more space. Oh yeah, and I tend to call the characters that I main or that I play the most my mothership. <laughs> Don't ask me why. I actually have no idea. R.Y.D. Um, let's put this into our action bars for easy access. Okie dokie, I think, as always, yeah, we have a little bit of copper to smelt, but not a lot. Nice, one of my bank characters has one more ore on the bank. That's really nice. Yeah, I almost think I have to farm first a little bit so I can get a few more skill points because I think I have a lot of stuff as ore, so... Huh. I mean, I bet you missed watching me farming a little bit of mineral notes. You did, didn't you? Come on, don't lie to me. Thing is, I'm still waiting for my laundry to be done. <laughs> and for some reason, it says that it's done, but it won't let me open the door. And I don't really know what I have to do so it opens. And usually I wouldn't worry about that, but it's been like this for half an hour, so... Yeah, stay tuned to find out what happened to my laundry. <laughs> oh, and also, I wanted to show off another hairstyle that I like a lot from the Drenai ladies because this braid is one of my favorites. Fair enough, fair enough. Looks very nice, very cool. But I think this new ponytail, well, new, new in vow terms. I think this is my favorite hairstyle in the entirety of the game. I thought something new every episode. Oh, and also I think I didn't mention this, but I remocked one of my shoulders last episode and I mocked it to be the light drinker's shoulders on one side and on the other side the deadly gladiator's uh, leather spaldress. And these shoulder pieces, these light drinker's shoulder, these light drinker's soul, these light drinker's shoulder spaldress, my god, that stuff. That is something that you either immediately get as soon as you have one character that got boosted from Blizzard <laughs> to the maximum level, because I think you still get this gear, or you get it from your garrison if you have the scrapyard. But I think the character boost is the easier option, not gonna lie. And now <clears throat> we will uh, we'll farm a little bit of copper. To be honest, I was thinking about what to do for today's episode and I was mildly thinking about finishing questing in Valshara because there are two complete chapters that we haven't even touched yet. But I've been teasing a profession episode for, I think, the very day I started my hunter. <laughs> so... I don't even know if this is gonna be very much fun because I know a lot of it is just watching bars grow and I don't know how entertaining I can be while doing that, but we shall see. Consider this a little experiment for both sides. 
Or, oh my god, okay. Shall we do it? Shall we kill Terrapis? A turtle that let me reconsider my hate or love for turtles, depending on how you look at it. I mean, we're not a hunter right now, and there are no hunters around that want to tame this, right? We can be the toxic, annoying person that kills all the stuff that you want to tame. And since we're a rogue, it's kind of our job. Snoot the Rooter is also not safe from our, our hungry daggers, I'd say. I mean, we are a Minari rogue after all. We truly have to embrace the dark side of life. Let's be honest here. And I swear, I'm mostly just looking for ores, okay? I'm not purposefully hunting down every single pet that I tame during my time as a hunter in Elven Forest. Oh no. <laughs> Miss me with that shit, literally, Murloc Lurker. By the way, while I'm hacking and stabbing away at foes and trying to get as many ores as possible for our little skilling experiment, I wanted to use this moment to again thank all of you for showing me so much support in the past few weeks my channel has grown so much i know we're not even at 500 subscribers yet but for someone who just decided two months ago that they would finally dare to record themselves gaming and talking especially since i Usually I'm not the biggest fan of my voice and I never thought that I would be actually funny to other people. This is quite the um, cool experience and I really have to thank all the people that, you know, have been commenting for weeks now under my videos and always have a kind thing to say to me. You guys really rock. I know it probably sounds like your typical YouTuber talking, but I really appreciate every single one of you that takes time out of their days to watch my stuff, comment, like, and just experience all of this alongside with me. Every single time I record an outro, I try to find the words to thank you guys and I always add that up a little bit. So that was just for you <laughs> and now onwards with the grind i mean i find rare mobs and mass but i don't find anything to mine oh never mind <laughs> all right am i gonna get stuck somewhere no i'm just gonna get on top of this very nice mountain oh yeah to be honest i don't think Redridge is a good place to farm in any case i think i'm gonna go to duskwood I don't really know why I even came here. I think it was just because I like all of these starting zones of the humans so much. Oh, and I just realized only one more level and we can finally pickpocket people and then another level and we can add the head to our transmog collection. Well, that's nice, isn't it? Girl, I believe in your innocence. They did you dirty, but I don't believe it. All right. I don't believe in my quest. I think it was just a trick of Nazoth or something. All right. We're finding more rare mobs and even less ores currently. Ooh, but we got a new bow that I didn't have. I bet the transmog is mesmerizingly beautiful. I mean, to be fair, as far as classic bows go, that's kind of nice. All right, guys, I'm, I'm even stalking up the parts of the mountain. Can you please just give me some copper ore? What is going on here? Probably should have just gone to Westfall. Ooh, lots of tin. I live in the city center and it's currently getting very warm. So my windows are all open. And there is this musician on the street and he has this way of singing variations of songs that don't really exist in an English that is not really English. And I really hope that you guys don't hear it in the recording because uh, now he's also starting to whistle. All right, Surgeon Brashclaw, I'm coming, I'm coming. Where are you? One of these camps, probably, the way I know you. Aha, you know, you can always trust in the skull. The cool thing is that they give me a cooldown, but the problem is my energy regeneration is so bad that it doesn't really matter if I have cooldowns because I can't press any buttons anyway. All right, when can we learn how to smelt tin? With 50. Okay, so 10 more skill points. I mean, we have 30 and 1 copper ores to smelt. Maybe we would get the skill points from there as well. But I think I'm just gonna ride the little loop around Westfall and see how many more ores I can gather. And then I'm just gonna hard home. Every time I enter the dead mines, I immediately have the song stuck in my head from Jesse Cox and a few other people. I think that's who made it. It's really old. I think it's like a wow machinima from 2010 or something. Probably gonna 
gonna link it in the video description and I just yeah I could burst into song right now oh wait this is a dead end there's nothing here where are my ores at? Nobody knows. Honestly, before they put a minimap in here, I always got so lost. Oh yeah, level up. Oh yeah, we have more points to skill. The thing with Shadow Step is, I mean, as you probably already know, I have very bad orientation. So something that just flips my camera to a certain angle, it just confuses me so much. That's why I don't use it as much as I probably should. The things I do for ores, honestly. All right, guys. I don't want to have beef with all of you. Guys, honestly, I was mining here, minding my business. Oh no, now this undead dynamiter is coming my way, huh? Honestly, you guys are so annoying. <laughs> Why would you move this erratically? You're dead. Have you considered not moving at all? I was always so jealous of her version of like, well, she's wearing like the sexy dress, but as a onesie and it just looks so cool. <laughs> Why don't we have that in game for us to mock? Hmm? Where is the justice in that? I ask you. Yeah, we can still get some skill points from smelting copper. So let's hearth home and do that real quick. All right, news on the laundry situation. The thing is, the washing machine is still not opening. And by now I have the suspicion that maybe one of my neighbors tried to open it during the washing process because then sometimes our machine gets a little bit moody. Uh, I wish I wouldn't have to share my washing machine with other people, but hey. Here we are. Alrighty, let's smelt this copper. Alright, the copper has been smelted. And now we're gonna move to our profession trainer and get some more input on how to smelt the other stuff. And since time has passed a little bit because real life stuff came up, I can also give you another update on the laundry situation. I just turned it off and on again and then I was capable of opening the door which was really nice and i also left a little note that maybe people should not just open the door of the washing machine if it's clear that there is still a washing going on we shall see if that impresses anyone because usually it doesn't i don't even remember which expansion that was but i think in bfa or in Legion, they gave us an enchantment that made us do the actual crafting of the professions a lot faster. And I know that they now put it in the tree in Dragonflight for the different professions themselves. But the thing is, those only count for Dragonflight and they don't count for the older professions. And I know that the overhauling of the entirety of all the professions was probably already a lot of work. But I would have really liked for them to acknowledge the older experience expansions and the professions there as well like why not make a tree that is about you know gathering and creating of all the stuff from one profession i don't think that would have been that much work it probably would have been work considering the the coding of the entire thing since world of warcraft is a very very old game and still runs on famously old code but you know i'm also paying a monthly subscription fee so i think i can be a little bit entitled about the things i want in my game okay we're almost done with the smelting and then we can actually look at engineering for once which is going to be exciting and i think the last time i skilled engineering on my hunter i kind of skipped it a little bit but i know a thing or two about leveling low level engineering and it used to be kind of a drag because there was just a lot of stuff that you needed and you needed to create a lot of things until you get to 150 points and they sped up that process quite a bit because there are a lot of things that just give you two or even four profession points when you create them now so that's nice and i'm just gonna create a bunch of rust blasting powder because we're gonna need it anyway and in case someone is wondering no i usually don't really do this with guides i absolutely understand the importance and the nice way of doing professions in world of warcraft with guides and if that's your kind of gig definitely go for it it's so nice like you won't waste your time and or gold on anything but i really like this trying out and piecing together stuff it's just always 
a blast to me at least. So I like to do it this way and I always forget that I need a blacksmith hammer. Oh yeah, and right here you can see it for the first time showing up. First of all, this is one of the tools we need anyway for engineering in general, but also we get two skill points every time we create one. So that's really nice because this is speeding up the skilling process quite a bit. And this video is probably going to be a lot of me stealthing up and down to the engineering trainer and trying my hardest not to an accident learn the cataclysm engineering. Mostly because I get annoyed by the fact that then every time I open my classic engineering window I have to set it on classic again because it's always going to skip right to the newest version of the profession that you have learned. And I gotta say, and you're going to be so surprised by this, I'm not the biggest fan of the overhaul of the profession especially UI wise. I don't like this new window whatsoever. I don't really get why it's this big. I don't really get why I cannot really resize it. I know you can make it small like this one but the thing is then I cannot you know choose something new to make once I'm done with the coarse blasting powder and also for some reason I don't see if this is still red or yellow or green or gray so I will have to open it at some point anyway to check on my progress and the fact that I don't even see my skin skill level here is also infuriating. And since you probably already gathered that I am a very big lover of the RP element of World of Warcraft, I usually like to do my professions and look at my pretty character while I was doing it. But that is a thing of the past because, well, there is not much to be seen of my character. <laughs> and I know this is probably all very nitpicky, but again, may I remind you of my subscription fee. <laughs> I feel like there is a certain a certain entitlement that you're allowed to have when you pay for a service. Oh, I'm not in the guild yet. Oh yeah. Yeah, my, my fiance is currently not home, so I would have to boot up her PC and invite myself to the guild, which I'm probably gonna do at some point because logging in and out of everything is quite annoying. But for now, I will just do this logging in and out of another character and send me the stuff that I want and watch me do this exactly two times before I get too annoyed and just log on to one of her characters and invite myself. <laughs> the way I know myself. All right, we're gonna need a lot of old school cloth anyway. So I'm just gonna send myself that. And yeah, tell me about your experiences with professions. I think it's such a nice and relaxing part of World of Warcraft. I really like to do it. Like I said, I liked it a little bit more when we still had the old windows, but I guess you can make do with everything at some point. But that doesn't mean that I'm not missing the old profession UI because I <laughs> really do. Sometimes I'm not up to date with these things. So if any of you know an add-on that might bring back the joy of the old UI, please tell me because that would be such a blast. And like, you know, as a fellow artist, I also really appreciate the nice little artworks that they've put into the profession windows. But first of all, why all that space? Because there is still free space in this window right here. And second of all, I don't have to look at it all the time. I'd rather look at my character. Thank you very much. Haha, -ha. I use Shadow Step and then I needed almost the entire time that I saved through using Shadow Step to rearrange my camera. <laughs> You're welcome. This is giving us a little bit of skill in engineering every time we solve it. And I always forget to do that, but I think it will just give us, yeah, it will give us one entire <laughs> skill point. And at the same time, we could also just create a few of the things that we need anyway. I know I could have created this clock box on a different engineering character and just send it to myself. But do you guys really want to watch me open 150 boxes instead of, you know, whatever this is? I swear at some point I'm going to skill Cataclysm Engineering on accident and then I'm going to be so annoyed. <laughs> oh yeah, Tiger's like, mm, he's on the guild bank. No matter, guys. I'm gonna re-log. And while I logged onto Anakin, I started my girlfriend's PC. <laughs> Told you, two times and I'm already over it. All right, what kind of gems did I need? Tiger's eye. And I think we can already take some Malachit. What's the other one called? Moss Agate. Yeah, exactly. Like, how do you pronounce that? How do you pronounce this stone? Moss Agate? Moss Agate. I actually have no idea. All right, unsurprisingly, her game has to update anyway. So let's just continue with our engineering shenanigans and hope that I don't need anything else from our guild bank. Alrighty, dip -da -dip -da -da. hell yeah, we can create some flying tiger goggles because after we, wait, 
Since when can you create them so fast? Oh yeah, professional journeyman. Oh yeah, I need medium leather for that. And leather is a very expensive, sadly. Ah, uh, but I think I have to buy leather this way or another anyway, because I think we have to skill through the explosive sheep, and for that we need the bronze framework. This is, I think, one of the reasons why many people, at least back in the day, didn't really like engineering, because unlike many other professions who get most of the materials from well, their own way of farming. The engineer has a way of needing basically every other profession as well because you need a lot of materials. And I think it was the worst in the older versions of the profession, like especially before Cataclysm, before they revamped a lot of classic World of Warcraft stuff. I never really minded it that much. I always thought it's very fitting with the profession, but I can totally understand how that might be a little bit annoying. All right, good news is we have already gained a lot of skill points in very little time. And the other good news is that I can invite myself to our guild really soon. Well, I'm gonna create these solid blasting powders. Oh yeah, let's join the coolest guild on my server. Residents 2. You know, one thing that we really didn't do is skill mining in any way or capacity. So uh, I think we're gonna run into problems at some point. Yeah, because we can't skill iron smelting yet. That is annoying, especially because we only need three skill points. All right, all right, all right, you know what, you know what. Avert your eyes. Ignore what I'm about to do. That is expensive, my guys. All right, and while I smelt these 150 irons, I'm gonna sip my coffee in peace. Alrighty, and we're done with that one. But not to worry, I have more where that came from. I think, maybe, if I have enough skill points. Oh yeah, we do. That's nice. But we don't have that much gold to smelt. That's A-OK -okay with me, though. Well, will we make it to Mithril? Well, it looks good. Oh yeah. Nice. All right, because that is kind of important because we need those mithril bars to continue skilling engineering. All right, now we actually have pushed ourselves to be capable of doing a little bit more of engineering and not just smelting for the rest of the video. Yay us. But I kind of feel that we don't have enough mithril to make it through. Oh yeah, and something else that we can do now, which is very exciting, is we can actually choose a part of the profession that we want to deepen upon. And I think this is the only profession that still has this, except for maybe alchemy. I tend to go for goblin engineering simply because I vibe a little bit more with those guys. So what we need to do is we need to build a few of the things for this quest. So the big iron bomb probably needs iron. That's nice because we also can skill with this. I think the more expensive one is the explosive sheep because you need the medium leather for the bronze framework. But since we already did that, we have that one in the bag. By the way, it annoys me so much that this crafting results window just keeps popping up again and again. When they patch this onto the live servers, you could still just X that away and it, it was just gone. And now it just pops up every time again. And I know they needed to do that to shoehorn in the fact that now the profession window is just stuck in front of your chat. If you have it on roughly the same point that it used to be with the classic UI. But man, I don't need to see that I've created 20 solid dynamites. I press the button, you know, I, I can also, it will also be fine for me to read the chat like I used to, but sure, show it to me in another window. All right, and now we can also exchange this very boring new icon for engineering for this very cool goblin engineering icon, which is also very nice. For example, you can have this uh, very cool goblin construction helmet or this very cool goblin mining helmet. One of them is cloth and the other one is male, so there is nothing for us in there. And I don't really think there will be. Sorry. If you want to get the most out of your engineering transmog, then you should be a cloth wearer in any case. All right, we made it to 225, which is a lot more than I anticipated when I started doing this video. Let's see how far we can get. Maybe we're gonna check out the prices for leather in the auction house. And yeah, if I wouldn't do this for a video right now, I would probably just farm it myself. But 
but whatever, I'm not spending my gold on anything right now anyway, because I'm doing a little raiding and M plus break. And as everyone who, you know, has done a lot of raiding and M plus in their time can tell you, stopping doing these activities all of a sudden opens you up to have a lot more gold to spare. <laughs> and also while skilling engineering, it really comes in clutch if you're a little hoarder in World of Warcraft. Oh yeah, now we need the Gyromatic Micro Adjuster. And that one is all the way down here and what you need for it is steel and steel might be a little bit confusing because it doesn't just show up like this but the only thing you need for that is iron and coal like you probably need in real life <laughs> this is this item that you need when you do anything in engineering at some point. And I think someone in Valdraken even sells it to you. But I never find the guy because everyone looks the same. So I usually just create it on my characters. Okay, so we need to be 250 to finally use our new materials. That is 10 skill points away. Hmm, yeah, we really don't have a lot of mithril. This is really, uh, this is really falling onto our hoofs right now. I'm getting ambitious, honestly. It's kind of expensive for mithril. I think another farming session is in order. So I'm gonna farm a little bit of mithril in the burning steps and afterwards take a little trip to winter spring to make sure that we get enough thorium to maybe even get to 300 skill points in engineering. So see you in a bit. And we're back from all the grinding and I even already smelted all the stuff so you guys don't have to watch me do that. And I also just noticed that there is a deep dive helmet that is apparently just a cosmetic item now. I know that this item existed but I always thought that it's still bound to a specific armor type. But it's not. And also it's not soul bound. So, okay. I mean, I don't think I will sell these, but sure, let's try. No! <laughs> no! I knew it would happen. Ah, oh, gosh darn it. All right, whatever. Now we're stuck with cataclysm engineering. I knew it would happen. Oh, God. We will not be distracted by that. We're gonna look what the tiger's eye. Oh, yeah. Give me, give me. Give me, give me some. And I think we're gonna create a few more deep dive helmets for a few more skill points. And I think the other thing we need for that are mithril casings. And soon I think we're gonna be in the land of thorium, which is also good. So let's create a few of these bad boys. And once done with that, going to make a few of those. All right, teach me. Dance blasting powder. You love to read that because if there's one thing you always tend to have enough of, it's these stones that you also pick up from old mining deposits in classic mining at least. And a thorium grenade. Oh yeah. First we're gonna create a few of these so I can make a grenade. But to also say something positive about the new profession windows, I really like the little animation that the bar has gotten for all the different professions. That looks really good for our 300 classic engineering points, if you ask me. Ah, come on. Oh yeah, baby. We did it. And with that little milestone done, I'm gonna end today's episode right here. I thank you so much as always for watching. If you're still here, that is. Today's episode is a little bit more lengthy than the usual ones. But I thought if we're already halfway through, why not finish at least one engineering tree? If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and a comment. I appreciate it and it helps so much. Especially tell me if you like this little format and would like to see more of these in the future because I definitely had a blast. Last. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I really hope that I'm gonna see you in the next episode. Until then, bye bye!